So um, after Dan was killed, um, my life changed off drastically, as you can imagine. And, and there's not a person in this room that hasn't gone through tragedy, heartbreak, despair, and then what are you going to do with it? And for me, it was literally transform it or die. You know, wither up and die inside myself, even if my body didn't die. So shortly after Dan was killed, we, I got really involved in the issues of journalism and safety. And we did a film called Dying to Tell the Story for TBS and CNN. It was distributed to 220 countries around the world that Amy presented about the risks that journalists take. Our next film was uh, called Global Tribe about social entrepreneurs. This was back in 2002 before people knew that word. So we were with Jeff Skoll at the UK Moffat. Um, but about social entrepreneurs who were transforming the world around them. Hugely inspiring for me. We went on to start a foundation, the Creative Visions Foundation, which supports creative activists. People like you who have an idea that you want to transform into a positive project or production. J Joey right there, the good looking guy in the yellow shirt. Joey is the head of our Creative <coughs> Activist Partner Program. Harold next to him works very closely with creative activists. Jacob, sitting right there, was one of our interns many years ago, went on to Harvard, to all sorts of things. Mandeep, another intern, is now just got her second master's degree, one in aid development and one in the Harvard Business School, just now. I've talked to all of those people. Okay, what happened next? We created a production company, which uh, uh, right now is working with Julia Roberts and the Oprah Winfrey Network to produce a film, a special called Moms on a Mission, Extraordinary Mothers, we just shot Hillary Clinton, Rosie O'Donnell, um, God knows who, uh, yeah, lots of people, Christine uh, Amanpour, uh, about the power of mothers to change the world. And next Mother's Day, we're going to be launching an enormous campaign for moms to get off their backsides and change the world around them. We're working with Scholastic with 20 million kids to give them the tools and resources to change the world. We've discovered that the invisible children, how many people have been involved with invisible children? A couple of people around here. Invisible Children was started by a person who was inspired by Dan. It's uh, built in many, many schools in Uganda and trying to change the lives of many, 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 thousands of child soldiers. Tom's Shoes, how many people wear Tom's Shoes? Anybody? Okay, this coming up spring, Tom's Shoes, buy one shoe, give it away, give a pair away. Tom's was inspired by Dan. The next spring, all of the Tom's Shoes is going to be dedicated to Dan Elton. So when you buy Tom's shoes, it will be designed actually to Dan's in many cases, and the inspiration for the story will be to Dan. I'm sorry, they're telling me I have to go off. Sorry, I'm being distracted. <coughs> yeah, I will leave, I promise. But <laughs> <laughs> so um, what am I trying to tell you? I'm trying to tell you that the power of inspiration is incalculable. So you, being inspired by these incredible, David, what, just don't ever speak in my presence again. It's too upsetting. He's so good. <laughs> no way. You <laughs> completely destroyed him. <laughs> but we have each been inspired hugely by Jeff and Michael and David. It's, it's just incredible. So know that power and know your power as a creative activist. And today, if you want to come by our workshop, we're going to teach you how to transform your ideas into action so that you can take your stuff out into the world and be the change, of course, that we all wish to see, but be the inspiration for others so that one day you'll come back here and, and talk to a crowd of people who make, make, you, ver who make you very nervous. Anyway, I'm, <laughs> I'm very grateful to be here. It's, it's an honor to be here.